So we want to descend more and we want to keep our airspeed at 65 and above. So I have to pour cycling. Exactly. And as you can see, when we have a little bit more airspeed, we are descending more. Yeah. So when, you, when you're losing airspeed, that means the attitude of the helicopter is more nose high. So we are going down like, like this. Uh, we want to go usually in level attitude and we have, of course, we have an instrument for level attitude, but we don't want to use it. We always want to lose, the, to lose, to use the compass. Okay, we had at 1400, so we want to stop descending. So how do we stop descending? Lo we uh, place the collective. Exactly, we raise the weight. Little, oh shit. Yeah, not too much. Yeah. We always want to stay in trim, so more right pedal. More right pedal. Good. And when we race, we have to give a little bit forward cycling. Because when we race, the helicopter wants to pitch up. We don't want the helicopter to pitch up. We always want to stay nice and level. So when we race, 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 a little bit more forward. All right. Good. 65. And we almost stopped completely our descent. So we'll race just a little bit more. A little bit more right pedal. So we are flying a trim. But keep our uh, direction of flight uh, along the 15 with the cycling. Good. All right. Looks good. Okay. Take my specific of the 5 is in Bessier, about 3 miles south of the intersection 1591 and 1300. And yeah, we are maneuvering here in that area between 1300 and 1500, like Matthews. Okay. Now I want you to make a climbing left 360 degree turn. Climbing 360 turn? Yes. Left side is clear. Right side is clear. So you raise even more. Start your turn, nice and easy turn, not not, uh, not a steep turn. You just raise, 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 left, and the compass could be a little bit higher than usual, but not too much, because then we are losing airspeed. We are losing airspeed too much. Um, as I said, the airspeed indicator is not giving us the very true airspeed indication right now, but we still know that we are a little bit too slow. 360, uh, uh -huh. so continue, and you can give a little bit more left pedal, and then we are turning nice while climbing. Exactly, good. Okay, and we level off here. And we make now a 360 degree descending turn to the right. All right, lower the little collective. Yes. And like that. Good. And we don't speed, want to speed up too much, so it's just a little bit as usual up cyclic in right turns. So this has. This is more or less um, not easy, but this is easier than the other way around because uh, in the beginning, in right turns, usually the students are descending because they give a little bit too much forward. Okay, don't speed up too much. Good. And now we level off here, and we don't want to descend anymore. So we raise, 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 raise. With a little bit forward cyclic. And left pedal. And then we don't... Yeah, we don't want to climb a, a, as well. Yeah. Uh, but we want to have more airspeed, so we just give a little bit more forward cyclic. And now we have our picture back. And that means we are not climbing, we are not descending. And you st still need to collective at 19 inches or something okay. but you shouldn't look at the instruments too much so last thing for here in this area is like matthews like matthews traffic up to five to the missile about one mile south of the intersection 1591 at 1600 over the 15 
and we are still maneuvering here between 1,700 and 1,500 length Matthews. Okay, I want you to make okay, a... 660 southwest burn squares, 2,000 feet and below Lake Matthews. A right climbing turn. Right climbing turn. 360 degrees. Alright. Okay, left side is clear. Right side is clear. Initiate turning. Yes, and climb at the same time. So you have to raise that collect it. a little bit more and look at the compass, it's way too low. So we are descending. Oh. I want you to climb. At the same time I don't want you to lose too much airspeed, so raise more and more up cyclic. More up cyclic and don't you don't have to turn too steep. Oh. So you can make a nice sh uh, shallow, shallow turn. but. A little bit more half cyclic, so we really want to climb. Okay, that the last portion was way better. Okay, we level out here, and now I want you to give me. So bring back your numbers. Yeah. And now I want you to give me a left descending 360 degree turn. Left. Okay. So left turn 360 degree, and we go down. Left side is clear. Right side is clear. Left descending. And don't gain too much airspeed, so exactly. That looks good. Oh yeah. This turn is good. You're not too steep. You're yeah we are not descending anymore so lower the collective just a little bit more. Good. Don't get steeper. But this looks good. Okay. Four birds and wildlife in the vicinity of Chino Airport advised on initial contact. Give information to Oscar. Chino Airport information Oscar time 1651 Zulu wind 230 at 6. Visibility 10. 5,000 scattered, 8,000 scattered, ceiling 1 2,000 broken, temperature 2. Okay. We don't want to descend anymore, so to stop our descent, we raise the collective. At the same time, just a little bit forward cyclic. Otherwise, we are losing too much airspeed. So, we want to make a landing to the east pad or to runway 21. So, first of all, uh, we request the east pad, and this is more, yeah, similar to. To uh, position report, we're following uh, information order. Who we are talking to, who we are, where we are, how high we are, and what we want. And then the information e uh, letter. So we just talk to the tower and tell them exactly what we want and where we are and everything in the correct order. And this is as follows. Chino Tower, Copter 520 in we are over the intersection 1591 at 1500 feet, request to landing at the east pad with Oscar. Copter 520 in Sierra, Chino Tower, enter left base for the east pad, report 3 out. We are entering left base for the east pad and reporting 3 out to 0 in Sierra. So, the, so, at Chino Tower, I will come to 814, go ahead Edison with Oscar, uh, let's depart out uh, westbound to the Chino Hills area. So we are just flying uh, this way. Charlie 2 Delta Uniform, uh, towards this little lake. Mile and a half ahead, 8 zero knots indicated. And this lake is this uh, lake. Look, I got the traffic and surprises on the chart. Uh, Helicopter A14 Charlie Echo Chino Tower, departure from Medicine Ramp, we had drone risk. Westbound departure approved, wind 2206. Um, so usually the tower just tells us, okay, enter left base, you know, upwind. And crosswind, crossing, downwind, base, and, base yeah. and um, final. And when the tower don't just um, tells us, hey, enter a right pattern or something. So usually we enter downwind legs. When we enter. The traffic pattern, uh, no, we should still fly uh, this way. I just want to show you this Corona. Okay. And if we, when we want, I want to enter a little more forward, you're losing airspeed. Keep this picture. Good. When we are entering a traffic pattern on an uncontrolled airport like Corona, we usually enter yeah, no, three, six, always the, the, down, the downwind. Direction, the long 
harder to get it in or in so, less space. A little bit more for yeah. so you want to speed up to 80 now. Yeah. With up to zero November Sierra traffic, uh, 11 at 10 o'clock, mile and a half south eastbound. Cessna 2200 indicated. Uh, we got the traffic inside here on the Sierra. So you see the traffic, the tower just told us? Yeah, I see the traffic. What, uh, 2500. Uh, one four Victor, keep your speed up, please, and uh, turn right hotel. Turn right hotel. Keep your speed up, please. Let's get the speed up hotel one four Victor. So we want to Skyline two Delta uniform runway space is good. Increase our airspeed uh, to 80, but we larger. don't want to descend. So what we have to do, we have to increase the traffic to so ways, 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 ways. Exactly. Three six three nine. A little bit more forward. I don't get too focused. Three two nine or no traffic. Don't get too focused on the control uh, on the. On the instruments, yeah. uh, so you just need to know that there's a different picture for 65 knots and 80 knots. When we, when we are not descending and we are flying 80, the compass, of course, is a little bit lower. And you should remember, okay, the compass is just this far away from the horizon right now, and this is my 80 knots picture. Uh -huh. And when you, when I tell you, okay, please reduce your airspeed to 70, Skyline you just give a little bit of cycling, at the same time you lower the collector. But not too much, okay, like, Charlie, like this. Change uh, uh, Have a good day. So, we are not descending, we're flying 70. Helicopter 0, November Sierra, east pad, cleared to land. We need to land on the east pad, the November Sierra, thanks. Okay, now we get the clearance to land. We, um, we had to report three miles out, and this is... We are not even three miles out, we are exactly... Oh, we are three miles out, now. Okay, keep your airspeed. So we want to stay at 1300 and not lower. We have to overfly power lines. Oh. And uh, what is also important when we are coming from this direction to the airport is the wash. Uh, the stone structure. You see that? Yeah, I see that. So this is usually after rain there is water in there. Right now I can't see it, but maybe you can see it later. So we want to fly towards this flat uh, white building there. Yeah. And you can speed me up to 80 again without losing altitude. Oh yeah, that looks good. So we are descending just a little, little bit, a little bit to the left. So it turns a little bit to the left. Good. Okay. So, behind the power lines, you see the power lines here? Oh, uh, yeah, I see that. So, the power, it's very hard to see the power lines, but yeah. it's easy to see the uh, structure, the tower. The tower, perfect. Yeah. Exactly. So we, of course, we overfly the towers. Uh -huh. okay. And we want to have a little bit longer base leg, so we overfly this tower. Oh, there's more water in, in here uh -huh. than usual. But you can see the wash is very good to see here now. And this is the borderline between traffic pattern uh, area and outside area of the airport. So now we are overflying the tower. Okay. And as soon as we are behind the tower, and this is right now, we want to descend to 1100, our pattern altitude. So we lower, lower the, the collective quality. with a little bit right pedal and aft cyclic because we don't want to speed up too much. Yeah, Chino Tower helicopter 814 Charlie Echo. Is Chino Hill would like to return for landing uh, Edison with Oscar? Okay, poor Charlie Echo, Roger, make right. So my left side is clear. My right side is right clear. clear. Okay, we turn to the left uh, towards the east pad, and the east pad is a little bit to the left yeah, of the right. tower. So we stop our descent rate here. We make our pre-landing checklist. So. Gages are green, fuel is required, carpet out of the yellow, no warning lights, RPM top of the green. Everything looks good. So we still want to fly in the green. So we keep a little bit more forward cyclic. So, and of course, carpet comes all the way up. So, um, the landing is, of course, we want to start our descent now. So we lower the collective okay. with a little bit of cyclic yeah. and right paddle. Good. And then we just make 
very, very small adjustments towards uh, to keep our angle all the way to the ground. This is still your reference, so, so, so you should look towards the spot, to your landing spot, but we want to keep the helicopter level. We don't want to have some different attitudes. And then we just want to get slower and slower and slower. And at the very end, it's getting tricky again when we lose ETL. When we lose ETL, the helicopter is pitching down and descending faster. And then we have to slowly race with forward cycling and left pedal. So now we are losing ETL and then we have to give a little bit forward with left pedal and then we are able to land here. Okay. We still have a little bit time, so let's start with a little bit hover training. So I want you to just keep the helicopter faced to the uh, tower. tower and you have only the pedals. Only the pedals? Yes, and you have only the pedals. Okay. You have the pedals? I have the pedals. You have the pedals. Okay, keep us face to the towers so a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie Echoes over Ontario at 1,500 with Oscar. So, so you see the windsock in front of the helicopter tower. Uh, tower uh, yeah, I see. Good. The there you can see, facing us towards right the tower right is more or less... The it's not easy. So you, do, you are doing a very good job. So we, I got different other students who had quite a hard time to do this as well. Okay, we are pulling a little bit too, four, Charlie, Echo. too much power, so I set it down pretty quick and get our carpet down and then we just continue. Okay, you are still also have, uh, only have the pedals? Yeah, I have the pedals. You have the pedals, good. Okay, as you see in the wind, the wind is helping us to keep the helicopter stable and um, yeah, okay. That that's a piece of cake for you. So I also give you now the collective. Uh, so you have the pedals and the collective. I have the collective. You have the pedals and the collective. Charlie Echo. So just two keep two our same altitude. So we want to stay low at three to five feet. And we want to face to the... Wind two two zero and six. Okay, just easy smooth inputs. And as you, uh, when, if you know, if you uh, remember when you give left pedal, yeah. We are reducing the power of the main rotor, uh -huh. and when you give left or more left 